Hey everyone, welcome to Agent Republic. This is Suzanne and Claudio, and we've got some really cool guests today. We've got Lauren and Jeff, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> from Bowbird Interiors. Jeff. Yeah, we got it right, Bowbird Interiors. And what are they going to talk about today? Suzanne, what do you think? Well, the big thing is that we're finding that a lot of agents and a lot of you guys are saying, how do I differentiate myself in the market? And mm. really it comes down to personal brand. And I think sometimes people can sort of think when they look at their brand, it's social media and it's all of this stuff. But these guys have got a really different perspective and it's one of the best ways to stand out in the industry. So how do you reckon some of the guys could strengthen their brand or differentiate themselves so that they are above the rest? I think, well, I mean, I will reflect on, we work with some of the best agents in the industry and uh, we've aligned with the best because not only do they, I guess we can help them with their brand, they mm. also help us as well. And, and mm. obviously we learn a lot from them, but we find that the really good guys, they style everything. I guess they, they don't give the, their vendors the option to present their homes yes. um, how they currently are. Obviously, if they're, it doesn't need work, that's fine. But a lot of the time you go in, it's, it's spatially not right and in terms of um, furniture placement. And also the mm. property just doesn't look, you know, 10 million bucks. Mm. If they want the best possible price, it needs to look um, look the part. So that's what we um, we work with our agents to, to create a beautiful home that people want to live in and buy. Mm. And this is the key. It's looking outside you as a brand and looking at, you know, when people come into any of your listings or anything like that, that they actually see it's a reflection of you. It's a reflection of your brand. And if you have an awkward space, that reflects on future jobs. Because what we're finding is that for somebody to choose a real estate agent, the research says that it takes them 18 months. Mm. So what they're doing is they're following agents around. If they're walking into properties and they're like, oh, this doesn't look so great, or this isn't achieving the result, that reflects on your brand. So what would be some of the tips or advice that you could give the guys to really like maximize? Yeah. The tips, well, firstly, to call call us, <laughs> um, to use that's, Bowbird. That's just a given, that's, <laughs> that's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. I'll we'll give you the yeah. details for it. Bowbird Put it out there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the top tips, I guess, is to, every uh, marketing is everything you do. Yeah. Isn't that John McGraw said that, I believe? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's so true, and you walk into, it starts with realestate.com. I look at realestate.com all day long, mm. as I'm sure you guys do too. You see an empty property, scroll past it, not even yeah. interested. Yes. Even interiors that are not appealing or a space, you think, mm, not really, I don't really like that. But you see a beautifully furnished home and straight away, I guess it's a lot of a female thing too. You, you instantly want to be there. You're attracted yeah. yes. to it. You want to go there. You, your irrational you know, emotions start kicking in. It's like, mm. I need to live there. I love everything there. So I think it's really important for agents to understand the emotional connection yes. and the power of that emotion and the connection to the to the home and the interior is, is really important to getting the best. Yeah, what, one of the things that I know work with a lot of agents that I've seen that if you can actually, number one, provide a, provide a point of difference, but also, you know, in your listing presentation, actually use a case study um, to mm. show, you know, a property that's been on the market before, hasn't sold, and then it goes back on the market with another agent that's able to, you know, style it, present it really yeah. well and maximise it. And, you know, you see it all the time. They might have got, for example, a million dollars best offer. Then someone like yourselves comes in and styles it and then it sells for like 1.3 million. We've yeah. got so many yeah. case one studies. The, one of the things yeah. we've been working really yeah. hard on is is building tools for agents. So over and above mm. the service that we offer yeah. um, is giving back to the agents and, and mm. building tools that they can work with. So one of the things that we do okay. is... Um, all the agents that work with us, we, it's an open invitation that we provide them with a case study. So it's, it's properly designed, it's, it's graphically designed, yes. we get all the images, mm. um, we write an editorial type blurb about the property. So it's not, a, it's not a real estate blurb, it's an editorial type blurb. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then we provide the data. So what it was guided for, what it sold for, the return Perfect. on investment. So we're, we're really spelling it out. So when, um, when the agents are in front of their vendors and saying, hey, I really think you need to present this property better, here's a business case for, yeah. for how so that true. works. So true, because if you're gonna move people into action, I say, especially like a client, you've got to have that facts and evidence. You just can't mm. say, oh, this is how we do it. Yeah. But yes. if you actually show them a case study where someone like themselves going, look, this is what they did, they put a budget, aside for styling yeah. and then they're actually mm -hmm. able to get like another you know whatever it is 30 40 percent return mm -hmm. more by doing the styling rather than not doing it yeah so. i think as we bowbirds evolved too we've really evolved in our thinking is we're actually not selling styling we're selling a yeah. return on investment yeah. and the more that we can i guess present that to to agents and their vendors like some you can't invest five thousand dollars in anything and get sometimes mm. 30 you know 30 times in six weeks back 
So it's pretty exciting to see some big yeah. returns. Do you guys watch uh, Million Dollar Listing, New York? Oh, yes. yes. Is that okay. right? It, yeah. it was 50 grand. I said, pack your bags. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. You guys should go to New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, you'll make okay. a lot more money than... No, no. Yeah. 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 But my point is this. Like, those guys over there, I call them like they're the pros of the real mm. estate. In, you know, New York's the number one real estate capital yep. in the world. And they go to every property, and every time, nine times out of ten, you'll see that they actually basically get staging yep. stylists yep. to come in and style it. 100%. And, and, and they'll, they'll invest the money into the styling and actually get a really strong price. And days on market get lower as well because, you know, it's Sweet like... Sweet higher price, that's it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's what Lozzie was saying before. Like, the agents that we work with that are the really high-performing mm. agents, that's the way they work with us. We're part of the team. We're an extension yes. of their team. They say, hey, they get us into their listing presentations and... Um, and we're just like a free extension of their team yeah. and, and, and we help them um, get it over the line and, and, and get an awesome result. Perfect, which leads back to you, which is that personal branding is. because you are it a is. brand as an agent and you having that when, alongside when of you. When you think about it too, everything is on like Instagram and social media. I read um, in the US that um, some of the guys, the top performers, a quarter of their business comes from Instagram. And mm. you think about it, if you're taking photos of all the properties that you're doing and, you know, we want to get rid of the, you know, just sold like, those kind of photos, they've got to go. It's looking at these. Let me stand in front with the Yeah, exactly right. Mendel, right. <laughs> I'm like, cheesy, come on, totally. we're better than that. Yeah, yeah. But if you look at some of the, like, if you look at an Instagram account, for instance, and we're going to be doing a lot on social media, you've got to look at the storyboard of it. So mm. if your properties are looking like rubbish and then people come and follow you, they'll scroll through and they'll be saying, this guy's rubbish. Yeah. But if you've got these beautifully designed interiors, then suddenly you're creating a story and a personal brand about yourself. And also too, you want to look at the psychology of buying. We know that people first buy with emotion and then they back it up with logic. Yeah. Sort of what Lauren was saying was really key. She said, like, you're scrolling through the website. There is, you know, a lot on a lot of these websites and they're going, miss, miss, miss. Oh, that's the place I could see myself in. And that only happens when the place is styled. Mm. And you've got to think, like... Most of the time, like our brains are 30% visual. Yes. So if you get a really good visual picture, someone's going to stop and actually look at it. Well, know? that's the challenge, isn't it? Like e even getting the potential buyer yes. to the property, it's, yes. it's got to look good first. And then, the, and then the emotional connection that they get once yeah. they stand in there and they think, wow, I could live here. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is that a lot of properties that we walk into, and agents even say to us, wow, this property looks crap <laughs> yeah yeah well, like, let's be honest and, 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 then, yeah. and then all the imperfections kind of fade away once the furniture mm. comes comes in people people it draws them exactly their, their right. eye away That's from right. the imperfection so yeah. exactly it's right. a really powerful tool yeah, yeah cool so so how did these guys get in touch with you yeah. like because i think it's you know you really provide a point of difference and mm -hmm. I think, you know, an agent, like you said, is creating a brand. How can these guys get in ca contact with you? And I love the bit where you've actually got case studies for them already. Oh, brilliant. You know, yeah, which yeah. is, which, because in a listing presentation as an agent, you want to have those tools there with you. Yeah. You yes, know, rather definitely. than just talk about it, you actually want to pull those tools out. Actually, so. just quickly want to touch on the proposal system yes, as well. So please. we've built um, a proposal system. Do you actually want to introduce it? Because that's another tool. And again, with the personal branding, mm. I think when you present something like that to your vendors. Yeah, sure. So um, we've um, we researched the marketplace and we couldn't find um, anything in the marketplace that suited what we wanted to do. So we had it built. We worked with um, mm. with developers to, okay. to build this program. So it's, it's our unique program. Um, essentially what it is, uh, when, when, we, when we put a proposal together for a client, um, our system publishes a unique URL Stunning. link for the property oh, wow. and we send that to either the, the um, the agent or the vendor, wh whoever in, in that situation. Um, but what, what, the, what the, the agent can do with it, they can embed our URL into their listing presentation. It's yeah. beautiful. And what it is, when the, when, the, um, when the client clicks on it, it brings up a web page which is, which is interactive um, and it has beautiful imagery um, and gives them a feel of what they're going to expect. It also has the yeah. costings. Uh, it's interactive. They just click accept and, and it's got the case studies built into it as well. So yeah. it's... It's a, it's a cutting edge, we think a cutting edge system. Well, I've actually had the pleasure of seeing it and it is absolutely stunning. And it was funny when I first saw, when I first saw it, I was like, so are you going to market this out and sell it out for other people to use? Because this thing's brilliant. And she's like, well, yeah, <laughs> like, that's the point. Yeah. So it's absolutely, what a great, what a great thing to have that, again, it's another thing that makes you stand out. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, we, we get comments all the time. We got, we got a Q&A Friday and one of the questions, an agent said, how can I stand out or what's differentiation? Yes. Yeah. Like here's a clear point of how you can be different and stand out against your competition. Yeah. So, I think yeah, it's, it. It, you're 
Jeff has always told me, don't just be different to be different. Like yeah. actually yeah. find the, the why and what people really want and be the solution. So, mm. you know, a lot of the feedback from agencies, you know, we're having trouble selling it in and people don't want to spend the money, but we found since um, the proposal system and having that, um, the case study showing the return on investment, it it's, seems to be mm. a no brainer yeah. now. Like people really yeah. are connecting with the return on investment, not Fantastic. just, oh, that's a, that's a lot of money to spend on top of marketing and top of everything but I guess ourselves and our agents have the same goal and it's to get the best possible price yeah, um, right. for their vendors and so. I think that's such a good point you know don't be different for the sake of it actually mm. add value we always talk about add value add value and this is yeah it does all of those yeah. it ticks all of those yeah. boxes we've actually written that into the content of it yeah, like we're, we're different but not for different sake yeah, yeah. Good. love it yeah. love it cool sneakers by the way guys I like that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you got the memo <laughs> before coming out to the video I love it okay fantastic <laughs> So, guys, really thanks for coming in thanks and spending some yeah, time with Suzanne us. and I. And um, we got some really good tips out of that, what you're saying, and, and really creating a degree of separation against uh, your, you know, against the agents yeah. in the marketplace. And also, too, like, check out where we're sitting currently. This is all these guys. Yeah. Like, if you love it, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's thank a studio. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank, you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.